They have a $1.2 billion budget and they are unable to find efficiencies. The UCP and Alberta's biggest school board of fight over finances. And part of the battleground is right here at the Calgary Board of Education's downtown admin building, which costs $13 million a year. The board just dropped 300 teacher contracts, blaming it on $32 million in cuts from the provincial budget. Well, the government just ordered an audit saying this building is one example that it can't manage its money. It was a bad deal. Many school trustees who came after it was signed slammed it. The 2006 contract was inked while the real estate market was booming. In 2011, the CBE moved in for a 20-year lease. I am more concerned right now with this particular board. I, I absolutely sympathize with, with the teachers and the parents and the students and everyone affected by this I, what I believe to be a reckless decision. Leasing costs here will go up to $62 per square foot by 2031, and it can't be renegotiated. Let's compare that to market rates right now. If I walk across the street just to this building, it goes for about $19 per square foot. Meanwhile, the CBE is handing notices to teachers on Thursday. They'll be on the substitute roster list in January. During question period at the legislature, the opposition said kids are losing their teachers in the middle of the school year. I have warned this minister for months that giving $4.7 billion away in a no-jobs corporate handout would mean teacher layoffs. Parents warned her. The ATA warned her. The CBE warned her. Everyone knew this was coming. So how can the minister claim to be surprised? In a statement, the CBE says we submit all required financial information to the ministry monthly, quarterly and annually. We continue to receive clean audits that show our financial results are fully compliant with legislation, regulation and Canadian accounting standards. The CBE says it's scrambling to present a balanced budget to trustees for January and it's making more changes to cover the funding gap. The education minister says she also wants a governance review of the board. In Calgary, Crystal Adaris, City News.